This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. All right, guys, so today we are back in the thrift stores. I had a random dream that I found a Pentax 67 and like a bunch of other crazy medium format stuff. So when I woke up, I was thinking like, huh, maybe we should go to the thrift store and just try out with luck. I didn't plan to film. I was just gonna come in and see what was available. I don't even have my camera. I'm filming on my phone. But guys, look at all of this stuff. Are you kidding me? I haven't found this much stuff in the last year. So. I'm gonna grab a cart, we're gonna break it down one by one, and then we're gonna continue thrifting. Let's go. <laughs> all right so let's take a look at our cart first things first look at these little i feel like these are billiards balls but listen to this they have a weird cling to it 75 percent off so we'll pick that up just pick it up a little viewfinder so these right here will be today's pickups and uh yeah let's grab these pick it up and get out All right, you guys, so we are back home now, and before we show you the thrift haul for today, I wanna to give a huge thank you and shout out to our sponsor for this episode, the good folks over at Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now, whether you are a photographer just getting started, or maybe you're already a professional, Squarespace has all the tools you need to get a website up and going in minutes. From award-winning templates you can use to get started, also an e-commerce shop, as well as probably one of my newest favorite features, features the video page, a dedicated space where you can upload your videos and content or even just import them from YouTube. So if you guys want to get started with your own personalized website today, head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes and enter promo code kingjapes at checkout and you guys can receive 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or a website. Huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Alright guys, so we are back home now and if you guys can't tell already, I'm a little bit sick. I've been sick in the last three videos that I've filmed. Uh, just hasn't been a great week for me. But with that said, we are still going to do this thrift haul because we found some incredible stuff and I want to show you guys what we got. All right, so here is the bag. I forgot that was in there. <laughs> so inside of this bag, we have a total of three cameras and one random odd item. And I'm gonna show you guys each and every single item inside of the bag. First thing we're gonna start off with is something that's not even camera related. I really don't know what they are. But when I first saw them, I thought they were just like billiards balls or pool, pool balls, like a crazy e ball with like nice decoration. But here they are, ladies and gentlemen. They are this yin yang. Like I said, it looks like a billiard ball. Uh, you know type of deal going on, but I dropped them on accident and they started to make noise look at this I don't know what it is, but if you guys have any idea what these are Let me know in the comment section down below because I'm really curious to see what these are all about All right, so in today's thrift haul we actually picked up two film cameras and just one digicam, which is great because I love seeing more film cameras in the thrift store. Now, the first one we're gonna knock out just right off the bat is this digicam right here. Um, as you guys can see, it says $29.98, but this was 50% off, so we ended up just paying 15 bucks for it. Now, the camera that we are looking at is one that looks very familiar, and ladies and gentlemen, it is a Canon PowerShot S500. Now this one looks very similar to the SD-1000 that uh, my buddy Gable and I like to shoot, but for some reason this one's a little bit bulkier and it also has a nice little screen on the back that's kind of tiny. I'm guessing this only shows 
like your um, maybe like your info or maybe it does show the actual photo I am not a hundred percent sure but uh, unlike the other power shot models this one actually takes a CF card and surprisingly there is a CF card inside of here <laughs> oh man look at that SanDisk Ultra one gigabyte <laughs> But it's pretty simple if you guys don't know what CF cards the original 5d used it yeah I mean it's interesting to see a camera have that now the one thing that I find really interesting is that the viewfinder in this thing is a little bit bigger than in some of the other SD 500s um, the shutter button is also a little bit bigger and just the overall grip feels a lot more bulky it doesn't feel like a smaller camera it feels more like a GR in my hand so so that is our first find right there the Canon SD 500 I'm gonna try to track down a battery see how this thing performs uh, because if it does perform well this could be a really really fun camera and uh, a really interesting little beast to take around with me next up we have this film camera that we paid a total of six dollars and 98 cents for with a little 25% off discount so I think it ended up being like five or four something but let's open it up on camera for you guys this is the bag that it came with right here it's a nice little sling bag um, the logo up front Tam Sport seems pretty cool I don't know like a vintage feel to it and then here is the camera now I've never seen a camera like this ever in my life uh, not only the color but just also this particular model all right so a little dirty here but this right here you guys is a pentax p6 pc 66w is what they're calling it i guess um and it's it's not your traditional feeling camera i mean just look at the shape it looks like a like a freaking nascar uh it doesn't say what type of lens it has but it is a pentax camera i don't have high hopes for this camera i'm gonna try to get her cleaned up and see if she's working or not if she is great um this is the first of its kind i've never seen one like this before i mean just look at the color scheme on this kind of like a cool gray bluish yellow theme going on and uh hopefully we could revive it all right and the last camera that we have from this haul is the one that i'm probably most excited about and it's from the company rico all right so just like the other camera it came with that same bag so i'm guessing this one and the other one came kind of in the same bundle when it was donated i'm not sure but tam sport uh, but here is the camera you guys this one's a little bit more promising this one right here folks is the rico shotmaster af date and what's cool is it has a 35 millimeter 3.9 lens um really really weird kind of combination 3.9 just make it f4 <laughs> but a lot of people man when they see these film cameras they always automatically assume they should go for the hyped up cameras like the olympus stylus epic or like the yashica t4 the cameras that people have tried and shown great results with but then there are these cameras the sleeper cameras that still perform really well that just nobody really knows about because they've been brushed under the rug and just haven't really gotten the attention that they deserve so so when i saw this camera with a fixed 35 millimeter lens i said you know how bad can it be uh, so my goal is i'm just gonna go out with this camera and test this out uh, see if this thing actually works get it cleaned up uh, but this is the camera right here the rico shotmaster af date you know give these cameras a try you guys if you've never heard of it before nine times out of a ten if they have a fixed 35 millimeter lens or just any fixed lens in general they will be performing well you know camera companies back in the day didn't make these cameras to suck they made them to perform so that their consumers can enjoy photography and so i think for the most part if you find these things in thrift shops don't pass them up give them a shot and see how well they perform but yeah man i'm actually really happy with this find because the camera is really clean uh compared to the other one and so this one looks like it's gonna be in good working order so but that's gonna wrap it up for the thrift haul you guys i know it was a short one but i wanted to just throw this out there because i didn't even plan to make this video but thank you all for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next one let me know in the comment section down below what thrift finds you guys have i'll see you in the next one as always minolta gang Whew.